This program is brought to you by Fruit Bouquets. Okay, I'm heading out for ladies' night. There's a casserole in the refrigerator. I'll be home at 11. Hey, Lois? Yeah? How would you find out the name of the actual actress who plays the AT&T chick? I guess I'm not the only person with a useless husband. I mean, look at Mrs. Butterworth. Oh, it's so nice getting out of the house. If I had to change one more diaper, I was going to lose it. Me first. <laughs> You're weak, Cleveland. You're worthless and weak. You found Brown. Hello, Cleveland. <laughs> <laughs> I used to have my own show. <laughs> <laughs> okay, my turn, my turn. Hello, don't say anything about the 1998 Oscars. I'm watching it now. No, my name is Rebecca. You've never met me before and probably don't even know I exist, but you're my father. I don't know. He sounded weird. Like when he was an NFL announcer and had to pretend he cared about the shows after the game. Hey, Peter. So, um, anything interesting happen tonight? Nobody called or anything? Nope. So, hey, uh, are you tipsy enough to let me have lazy Tony Soprano sex? You know, where, where I just lie there and arch my hips a little bit and breathe like a dying whale? Do you think it's possible he actually has an illegitimate child? I don't know, but something's going on because I'm telling you, he lied right to my face. Psst, hey! Did you hear? Hear what? Orville Redenbacher is gay. But he has a son. He's in the commercial. His what? Yeah! You're a psycho! Dad, you're never gonna believe what- Chris, meet Orville Redenbacher and his son. Watch. And that's where we get the expression, gay as a bag of popcorn. All right, I'll see you later. What? Where are you going? Laser tag orientation. What are you doing here? Lois, uh, uh, I was, I'm just, uh, shopping. Yeah, I'll, I'll take a large sperm, please. Nice going. Now you've ruined Christmas. Wow, that's pretty good. I... You've got mail. Okay, but hang on. You were a sperm donor? I can't believe you would do that to me. Can you guys argue elsewhere? You're making it tough to finish in here. No, fight louder. Call her a bitch. Okay, yeah. All right, I'll do it. You know what? It feels good doing something nice for others. Like when I was a mentor for Kid Rock. Will I see you again, Peter? Wherever a father weighs less than his daughter, I'll be there. Wherever someone has a banner for a football team as a curtain, I'll be there. Now go. People need a concert to go to after the water park. Ugh, she just put her tampons on top of the bread. Take the groceries out, we gotta start over. Mom, can I go bare hand raisins from the bulk aisle? Excuse me, ma'am. Your little girl dropped her teddy bear. What? Little girl? <laughs> yeah, she hates it when she drops that. Kid, those aren't free. Oopsie poopsie! Aw, oh, God bless you. Help yourself. What's up, dudes? Stewie, what the hell is all this? Uh, only the most manly thing ever. A little something called American football. Come on, Stewie, are you still hung up about that woman at the grocery store thinking you're a girl? Elton John is another. It has nothing to do with that, Brian. I just thought it'd be good to take up a sport. You know, like boys do. Oh, don't worry. I'm going to be bad news for the other team. And nobody likes bad news. Except for Larry, the self-loathing idiot. Wow. So these are the wife beaters of tomorrow. Which team is Stewie going to be on? Okay, kids, let's start practice. Yeah, football, boy stuff, hitting the shower, getting embarrassed, going home to shower. Okay, Stewie, enough is enough. All right, let's 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 get you out of here. My Tyler would kill him out there. Okay, well, believe me, there's, there's more to him than you'd think. Come on, Stewie. You know, ballet is great exercise. Maybe you should put short stack in a tutu. Boom. Okay, I guess we'll see who's got the toughest kid here. Yeah, I guess we will. 
Hey! Oopsie poopsie! Excuse me, Coach Harara. Oh, like that car you drive over there? Let's see if it looks bigger when I throw a sprite at it. Well, it's not my car, but I don't care. I'm just a volunteer. All right, and nobody's blocking. Ooh. Back off! He may have a concussion. A concussion? You do me an honor, Lieutenant, but my dance card is full. Hey, Stewie. How's our little concussion guy? Oh, my God. Can you... can you see me? I don't... I don't care. I just want to know. Lois, answer the bloody phone! No, 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 no. We, we don't need Lois. Chris, pretend to answer the phone. You're bragging to nobody? Phone's still ringing. Crap, Chris, he's worse off than I thought. We have to do something. Well, on TV, if somebody gets hit on the head, you hit him a second time, and that gets him back to normal. But for the inside... Chris, are you crazy? Shh, let's just let him sleep this off. The world looks mighty good to me Becomes a tootsie roll to me well, you already look better. The doctor should be in any minute. <laughs> Chris, what the hell? There is a room where you can go in and just get free people. Oh, it's not your fault. I just have to accept that I'm not a man and I'm never going to be one. Well, that's ridiculous. You can't let what one woman says in a grocery store define who you are. Mom and Dad said it too. I heard it through a vent in the wall. That may be, Stewie, but if I were you, I'd stay off the field. Concussions are the number one problem in football today. Recent brain scan studies have shown... Silence the truth! All right, finally, some peace and quiet so I can buckle down and get some writing done. Just do it. Just say it's all been a pack of lies. It's all been a pack of lies. And the next night, he invited the watching guy to be in the front row of his concert so he could sing it right to him and they could arrest the guy. Really? Why wouldn't he have just helped the guy who's drowning? Because he was busy writing the song. Wait, if he just watched, doesn't that also make him a little guilty? Look, I'm not saying we wouldn't bring Phil Collins in for questioning. Hey, what's up? Well, I'm trying to work on a sequel to The Old Man and the Sea. Are you, are you allowed to do that? But I can't get anything done. It's so damn loud around here. An oasis where I could go to write. Pay the bills by renting out the rooms. Oh, like a B&B? &B? That could be fun. What? What are you talking about? I'm talking about you and me opening a B&B. &B. Can't be any worse than when I was on the night's watch. Hey, guys. Do you all want to say the oath again? <laughs> I'm the boring storyline of the fat guy that's watching that girl. And I'm ballers. Ow! Ow! Man, I still can't get over how perfect this place is. I know. It's going to be such a darling B&B. I got the boiler up and running, Mr. Griffin. Well, we don't have a boiler, but I can't wait to see what you've done in the cellar. Wow, look at us, running a B&B. &B. Yes, so far all the guests seem very happy. Hi, we're checking out. Just charge my card. That's weird. That's the fifth couple to check out after only an hour. Stewie, we have a problem. The only people checking in are here to have sex with prostitutes. What? Nonsense! I mean, it's more obvious than when George Takei was in the closet. Hey, George, how are you? I am a heterosexual. I love vaginas. Bitches, Brian. What? What's all this? This, Brian, is called diversification. You see, if our guests insist on bringing prostitutes into our B&B... &B, so don't bother flashing a wad of money, because there's no way I'm gonna change my answer in the middle of this sentence. Okay, maybe we could try it out and see how it goes. Hey, what are you girls doing standing around? Get to work! All right, ladies, I'm going to put this as gently as I can but it appears that someone's rectum fell out on the stairs. Now, whose is it? Be honest. Look at that, Brian. Our day has just begun, and there's a line out the door. I know, we're raking it in. We're all just blocking the street. We're all just blocking the street. Come on, I, I gotta deliver this pizza. Oh, thank God. One of us got the contact lens. We're going back to block the street. <sighs> ah, screw it. We won't stop blocking the street. Never stop blocking the street. Good morning, ladies. Were the paramedics able to resuscitate Lamar Odom? They're still working on it. Okay, show's over. Everybody back to work. We just realized we can keep all the money, take your house, and kill you if you try to do anything about it. And they locked us out. What about me?
my loaf of cinnamon raisin bread. It's mine. It's not for the whole house. <sighs> Let's just go. <laughs> they won. Hello, I'd like to report a brothel operating on Route 6 near Round Hill Road. Thank you. <laughs> You can just do that? Oh, yeah, you can just refuse delivery. You, you've never done that? Everyone does it. Most of what America is now is just boxes going back and forth. <laughs>